Thinking about working in railroad retirement? Well, this is when you should contact the Railroad Retirement Board. Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors, and today we're gonna to talk about the Railroad Retirement Board and when you should be contacting them uh, if you plan on working in retirement, okay? They're very particular about this, and this can get you into a lot of trouble, so you really wanna understand the proper times uh, to reach out to them, you know, what's going on in that uh, work cycle here. So uh, <clears throat> let's just go over a couple things here. So earnings from non-railroad work, employment, okay, they will incur uh, deductions before full retirement age, tier one and tier two, all right? So, and tier one is the basic social security rule, so you, know, you don't need to contact them. But the tier two portion I just wanted to highlight here is because uh, you might have a last previous employer situation here. So that means uh, you retired from the railroad, you went to work somewhere, and then you start your annuity and you continue to work for that individual. And the point, I, the reason I ask that is just contact the Railroad Retirement Board, understand who the last previous employer on record is with them, all right? You wanna get that understand because the last thing you want is say, oh no, I haven't worked for that place, I might have deductions or whatever coming your way. So you just always wanna confirm that last uh, previous employer, all right? That's a good one here. Now the other part is, is gonna get a little bit tricky here. So this is when we get into the self-employment. We start our annuity and we're gonna get into self-employment here, right? So the Railroad Retirement Board determines if you are performing substantial service as independent contractors. So that's a lot of things you hear. Hey, I'll retire from the railroad and uh, I'll collect my annuity and then I'll consult for a railroad or the previous railroad that I was working for. So uh, this, is, this is the gray area. This is where you can get into uh, a lot of issues. So if, you, so if you are working as an incorporated business, in a non-railroad related, right? Non-railroad is the operative word. Uh, the RRB does not consider that self-employed, right? So, okay, you work for the railroad, you become self-employed, you're in retirement, collect your annuity. Let's say you open up a ro roofing business, for example. Uh, so, I don't know why you get on a roof in retirement, but whatever, let's just say you uh, open up a roofing business. That's they don't care about that, right? So no need to notify them about that. Now, if you are employed as a consultant, uh, the Railroad uh, Retirement Board will review your self-employment, right? So left the railroad, I'm gonna set up my own little LLC, I'll consult to a railroad, or maybe the railroad that I previously worked for. So they wanna know about that, okay? So what you have to do is fill out a form uh, AA4 self-employment and substantial service questionnaire and they will determine if you're working uh, for that railroad. Now remember what would happen um, is one if they determine that you are actually working for the railroad they're not going to pay you that annuity because you're still working and that actual tier two portion is still going up so they're not going to pay out on that. Um, and if you don't do this and they come back to you uh, you could have some very substantial interest and penalties there. Um, so I would be, I, I'm a big fan of just always reaching out to the RRB and just, you know, dot, uh, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, that type of thing. So um, I hope you found this helpful. If you're going to go into the self-employment route, really, really reach out to the RRB. I, I would highly encourage that. All right. Um, Listen, uh, channel's grown. We're getting close to 7,000. Maybe we're over by the time this uh, video appears, but I really do appreciate all of you doing that. Please uh, click on the notification bell to get the latest video. And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.